Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. And Jack. So today is day three of gluten-free week. Um, we are making the Big Mac skillet today. So in our pans over here, we have two pounds of pre-cooked burger, but we need to chop up some onions. It says one large onion. Guess I'm not quite sure what a large onion is, but. Probably get away from me. <laughs> And we are using our rata knives, and there is a link below. I love the rata knives, you guys. I can't say enough about them. And Sherry, I want to thank you. My little mini server from rata came today. I love this. This is going to be great for little pieces of cake and stuff. Love it, love, love it. So we're going to put that right in my favorite drawer. And people said they love to see you prepping, Jack. It's like, so what? <laughs> you don't like that, do you? No. Now, can I do it right? Yep. Now cut it, like, right down that way. And then turn it on its side. Like that? You see? I can't see. Yep, like that. <laughs> He'll get it. Oh, I is. I'm afraid I might cut myself with this knife. You know what? If you keep fearing it, you'll do it. So just do it. All right. Let me use my rata um, tomato knife, and we need to make some diced tomatoes up with it. And I'll do that while he's doing his onions. Because I can't start to cook with him there either. So guess what? Guess we might as well cut up the tomatoes. So me and Renee were talking. And when she comes down next month, what would you guys think about her and I doing a live cooking? You'll have to let me know what you think. I think it sounds like fun. Her and I together in the kitchen, cooking up. Heck yeah, I think that sounds wonderful. You know what I wish they had was for the lives, I wished we could um, do like where you guys could actually talk to us live. Because I want to do the live thing, you know, I want to do the cook along with me. But when we're cooking, it's really hard to look over and see what you guys are saying. You know what I mean? So it makes it really, really hard. I want if I could do one of those preview things where I could actually, you know, be already do the video and then have you guys cook along and then I could talk to you guys, you know, by typing to you and whatever. I have one more small tomato, so just in case. All right, you can take care of that. You don't need it anymore. Okay. Jack's like, thank goodness. <laughs> So now what we're going to do, we've got to cook those onions, so we're going to chop up that hamburger. We got them way too high. With Jack, everything's high, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. He doesn't believe in, like, medium heat, nothing. It's Everything's hot. All right, so we need salt and pepper on there. It says half a teaspoon. We're just going to put some on there. All right. And we're going to get that cooking. And I do need another bowl, so I'll be right back. All right. So the reason I needed another bowl was because it asks for um, chipped or dill pickle, you know, slices, whatever. We don't have any, only the sweet pickles. So I'm going to actually chop them in. We've only got spears. So it won't be as pretty as it would be if you bought it at, you know, McDonald's or something. But you know what? You make do with what you got. So 
I'm going to chop enough of these pickles. And who says it won't be prettier? You know what I mean? It could be. I have some round pickles downstairs, but I have some of these already up here. There's no point in going down and getting more. So how's you guys' week going so far? How's yours, Jack? You ready to do all the work you have to do before I get home? No. <laughs> You're gonna though, right? Yeah. Jack's gonna get his yard straightened up and get his freezers organized while I'm gone. Give him something to do. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna make a couple of um, breakfast videos, and they'll come out Saturday and Sunday if I learn how to program it. <laughs> And then we'll try to do a live on the way down Friday. And I'll throw together some video. Can you put that back in the fridge? Some video from us down in Tennessee. Now, I don't know how to do all that stuff from my phone. So if there isn't any descriptions or anything in there, please understand. Because I don't, I don't know how to do all that. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. All right, so what we're going to do while we're waiting for that hamburger to cook is we are going to make up the sauce for it. So we need a half a cup of, and I'm not giving you a spoon till I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that? I got some. Jack. What? You're bad. <laughs> Jack's got jokes today, you guys. So they sent me my rent-a-car. And it was an Equinox, which I used to have an Equinox. But they've made them a lot smaller now. And so they sent me a foreign car. That's all right. I cried when they took my car today, and I told them, be careful with my baby. He promised that he would, so let's hope that he is, because that's my baby. <laughs> and we're going to use two tablespoons of sweet relish, which mine are, this is my homemade sweet relish. One, two, you made first, man. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Poor Jack, there was a little bit of a mess. Does it look like I'm feeling bad about it? <laughs> no. All right, now we need, I'm going to do the slices before everything because I don't want to dip all the cookie stuff in. So we're going to do a half a teaspoon <laughs> of, um, actually we're going to do a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. You thought you were going to always be first, didn't you? Yeah. See how he is? I'm telling you. Dudes. Okay. I got something to discuss with you guys, too, today. But let me get this stuff counted out here. All right. So now we need a half a teaspoon of paprika. Oh, I know I forgot, Jack. Was the, um... I need mustard. We need a half teaspoon of paprika. And mustard. <laughs> and we need two teaspoons of mustard.
This is the one that Jack was looking forward to. Mine will be tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to the one tomorrow. I'm so excited. Now we're going to do two or one teaspoon of white vinegar. I don't know, I got to stir mine because it's popping. Now I'm going to get out my little whisk here. And you can use a spoon now that you were so anxious for a spoon, Jack. Yeah. And we're going to mix that together. That looks delicious. Look at that. I think it looks yummy. Do you want my whisk, Jack? Okay. I'll share it with you if you want me to. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, so let's finish up this hamburger, and then we'll be right back. Then I should have read directions even better, but, you know, I didn't. So the next thing we're going to do is take that sauce and pour it over the entire meat mixture. So I had to slice up a little bit more onion is what I had to do. No biggie. And then we're going to mix that all in with our burger. And so this is also, people have been asking about those uh, one pan meals. This is going to be totally a one pan meal. Which I think is great. Less dishes. All right, and then you're going to spread it out kind of good there. Just like that. All right. Then the next thing you're going to do is take four slices of that not real cheese. <laughs> There's your four there too, Jack. Mm -hmm. And you're going to put that over top of it. And because it's warm, it's going gonna, it's gonna to melt it a little bit. Not a whole lot, but... You know, who's joking? We don't get much melted when we're <laughs> at McDonald's anyway. They ship it through so fast. Now we're going to cover it with lettuce. We're going to do tomatoes. So if nothing else, it should be healthier. Lettuce, tomatoes, heck yeah. And then you can take the rest of those. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's not quite how I do that, but... <laughs> and then you're going to scatter some onions across the top of that. Use the rest of that, Jack. I'll clean it up in a minute. And then you're going to add those pickles. I make a mess in my my um, sink, but that's okay. I always clean it up, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> I try to help her out. He does the floor. And sometimes a stove. And sometimes a stove. So this is what our Big Mac casserole looks like. It'll look delicious. Yeah. All right. We're going to take a taste test, and then I want to talk to you guys about something. And me and actually Renee talked about it today. And I'm moving you guys around. Am I making you car sick? <laughs> Trying to get one that's got a little bit of everything on there. 
All right. Mmm. That's awesome. That tastes like a Big Mac. <laughs> All right. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about, it's nothing bad. But we were talking about it today. Um, a lot of Renee and I's um, community is a little bit older. Like our age. I'm old. But we'd like to bring in some young gals. And so if you guys have any ideas how we can bring in some young gals so they're not cooking out of their microwave or out of a box, and we can help teach them too. And as a community, help our younger women, all of us, not just me, but you guys too, to give them, you know, advice and to, you know, help them out. Because I'm Gen X, and my mom owned a bait shop, and she never had time to teach us how to cook. And... Honestly, at 16, I didn't want to know how to cook. I really didn't care. So I think a lot of those kids have never been taught. Their moms and dads both had to work and whatever. So they do a lot of the prepackaged food, which we all know is really not good for you. Not that this is really good for you, but prepackaged is definitely not the way to go. So we'd like to be able to reach out to some of the younger gals so that you, me, Everybody that, you know, is in our community can help these young gals out so they can learn to cook for their families. And it doesn't come out of a um, frozen box, a microwave, or, you know, that they realize a stove has a top and a bottom. <laughs> so if you guys have any ideas or if you have some younger friends that, you know, would like to learn how to cook that don't know how or can or preserve or do any of that stuff, then... Um, both me and Renee are going to try to reach out to them, too. We love our community like crazy, but I think all of us as a community can help the younger kids out, too. So I will be back with um, Tom to let him taste test it. He should be home shortly. So thanks for your help, you guys. You guys are the best, and I have the best community. I know Renee has the best, too, but you guys are a part of my heart and soul. I appreciate each and every one of you. And even Jack does too, don't you, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> He's my cohort. My my partner in crime. <laughs> we don't commit any crimes, though. We no. have to think of a different word. We can't be partners in crime because we don't commit any crime. Uh-oh, Jack's brain's thinking. I feel the floor shaking. Because I say to Jack all the time, What you thinking, Jack? Nothing. Your mind really is blank like that all the time? Yeah. I wish my mind could slow down like that. Partner in cooking? Partner in cooking. There we go. Sidekicks. <laughs> all right. We'll be back. And if you guys have any ideas, let me know. And I'm not trying to expand past my group. Don't think that. Please don't think that. I just think that all of us together, we can help some young gals out. Because at one point, somebody helped us out. And... You know, I'm still learning every single day. And you guys email me stuff and you put stuff in the comments. And I'm learning things I never thought that, phew, like the one dish we did, they go think about if you added cabbage to that. I would have never thought about that. But that actually sounds really good. So you guys are teaching me every day. And I'm learning new things every day from you guys. And I appreciate that. I really do. Even though I'm old, it's nice to learn. I was always taught you better learn something every day. It keeps your brain fresh. I don't know about all that, but it's good to know. We'll be back. Bye. Well, hi, Tom. How are you? I'm just wonderful. Awesome. There's his Big Mac casserole. Woohoo. Three days. I know. Muffles. <laughs> <laughs> Not, oh, geez, I get to see Nate. I'm going to tell him, too. <laughs> I'm going to tell him your dad's getting ready to see Waffle House and doesn't even mention you. <laughs> we think. It's delicious. Does it taste like a Big Mac? Mm hmm. It's really good, huh? Mm hmm. So earlier when I spoke, I hope I didn't offend anybody because I don't want to lose any of my girls. But. 
me and um, Renee had been talking about it, and me and Tom too, because our ex daughter in law, she could bake a cake, but she couldn't cook to could she, Tom? Mm -mm. <laughs> I taught my sons how to cook, so they knew how to when they moved out of here, but a lot of parents with being wor working parents just don't have the time or they just didn't have the energy to teach them. So that's what we kind of want to help them out with. But you guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing and bye, Tom. Bye, Tom.